questions for Marcus? Marcus, what was the process like? Bigger um, than for this one and how did you feel with general effort? Um, <clears throat> just had to make sure, you know, I could uh, withstand contact, obviously. Um, certain movements that I would be making. Um, just wanted to make sure that, you know, if I can continue to do those, then I could be able to play. Um, we tested it out. Everything felt well. Um, we took all the, the right precautions. So um, that's what it came down to. Um, if I had any, like, any type of soreness, any type of, like, where I really couldn't um, withstand it, I, I wouldn't have played tonight. But everything I passed, so I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, as you can see, it, the back locked up a few times on me, but for the most part, I was all right. Um, throughout the game, it, it got a little tight on me. Um, it flared up, um, but like I said, once I got it stretched out again and um, got it loose, got some heat on it, um, it was pretty. It was pretty fine. So um, just got to constantly, you know, um, continue to check on it, continue to, to stay loose and not let it tighten up. Is this what you did during halftime, or was it? Throughout the game, just throughout the game period. I was on the floor stretching, heat backs. Um, you see me up a lot, uh, just trying to keep the back as loose as possible. Marks. A little bit, a little tweak. It's not it's not bad. I'm okay on the ankle part, which which is a good thing, but definitely definitely caught it a little bit. You kinda of wonder like why do you have such bad like why you always get these big back, like why things always seem to happen, or is that something you just that's part of, your part of my game. I leave everything on the floor um, every night um, like it's my last game. Um, and it just happens. You know, um, I'm just thankful that, you know, it's nothing too serious um, and I could bounce back. Bobby and Jared. Marcus, where were you when you saw Jalen throw the mask off and what did you see that was different from him after that? <laughs> I was actually on the bench and then um, after the timeout, um, we were looking for Jalen. Couldn't find him because he didn't have his mask on, and then I was like, "Where's he at?" Like, and then we see him in the corner, and, and he gets the ball, and then obviously, you know, he makes those plays where he's driving uh, with force, and he, you know, he um, throws it off the glass a couple times and makes some great plays, and and we just knew at that moment, you know, um, it was a different JB, and um, you know, he's going to carry us and bring us home. I saw you kind of had like a little exchange with him in the second quarter. You were really trying to stress something to him there, and then he threw you the ball and you got fouled. What what happened during that sequence? Then? Um, you know, just talking about our matchups. You know, um, um, communicating. That's a big thing for us is to be able to communicate. And um, um, he felt like I, I I missed the coverage or um, um, something of that sort, and we just talked it out. You know, um, I asked him what he seen. Um, he told me, and then vice versa. You know, he asked what I what he could do, and you know that's that's the growth and maturity that you know we both have had. You know, we've been playing with each other for so long, so you know um, that speaks volumes of who we are as a team and as who we are individually. Some guys are like playing your like take something to like help you some pain or anything like that. Did you want to just like play through this like raw and so feel everything and just play your best? Yeah, just you know, just be me. Um, you know. Um, didn't really want to take nothing, um, you know. Obviously, you know, the more you take, the more stuff you take, uh, the more toll it takes on your body, kidneys, and everything. And you know, uh, I'm not getting any younger, so I'm trying to, you know, just keep my body right as possible. Hey, Marcus, you guys uh, had your heart broke in, in a sense last year in the, in the finals. What are you taking away from last year's playoffs and bringing into this year's playoffs to make sure kind of that doesn't happen again? That. You know, um, this could possibly be our last chance having this opportunity. Um, you know, uh, last year taught us that, you know, you don't get blessed or lucky too many too many times, and you got to grasp it and take it, take full advantage of it, and um, and don't leave anything on the court. Oh, okay. It's me. <laughs> Marcus, uh, things got kind of chaotic in the second quarter, and then again in the fourth, and you were the guy. A voice of reason, kind of bringing guys in, JB, giving him some confidence as well. What message were you trying to send, and, and how were you able to maintain that voice too? I'm um, just constantly telling him, you know, um, um, we need him to be who he is, and that's one of the best players in this game today. And uh, when he has that mindset, you know, it's hard for anybody to guard him. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to give him that, that confidence. He's earned it. He's deserved it. And uh, when he's playing with that type of attitude, 
we're a totally different team. And, uh, you know, I'm just trying to, 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 to keep my emotions under control as much as possible. Um, that way, you know, if I'm, if I'm running out of sword and running around my chicken with my head cut off, everybody else starts to do the same. Um, and so just really trying to work on that and uh, making sure to keep my guys under control in the right time um, emotionally. How hard is that to do against a backcourt with guys like Trey and DeJounte? It's tough. You know, they make it real tough. They do a really good job of uh, putting pressure on you. Um, and, you know, um, it's a good challenge for us. It's something that we needed, and it's going to help us in the long run. Did anything uh, happen at the end with DJ? No. One more, actually. Uh, Joe just called you the heartbeat of the offense. There was like some moments late in the second where they were kind of going back. You just started like going ISO and just taking right the guys over and over. What was in that moment that you saw that you needed to establish yourself? And how do you feel like you found the balance over the years of like finding those moments in these big playoff games where like, you feel like you need to reset the heartbeat for the offense? Just take what the defense gives me. Um, a lot of times um, <clears throat> when you got two guys like Jalen and Jason, who was such a threat on the offensive end. Um, you can't put your best defender on both of them. Um, so somebody has to be on me, and uh, we just try to take full advantage of that. Final question, is it? Just holding the mic. You said he did it when he took off the mask. It was uh, uh, you know, hard to uh, recognize him. You hadn't seen that in uh, so long in a game. Yeah, it's been a minute since we've seen JB without his mask on the court playing, so it was a good <laughs> So, you know, he took his mask off and uh, he turned into a different player. He turned into Juice with the mask off. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs>